of the 2024 Mercedes AMG GLE 63 S. This is just phenomenal. here today though this is what this car is made of but uh traffic today so what a fun car I mean I think in my books this is a 10 out of 10 right if you want to wait for the GLA 63 S Coupe, you might as well, but uh, this car, uh, I'm not sure if it has a third row seat option, but uh, it probably might, but there's no announcement from Mercedes whether that's going to happen or not. But uh, tons of space in the back as well for three adults. Yeah, tons of space in the back for three adults. Uh, you know tons of leg room headroom as well tons of storage this car has 33.3 cubic feet of storage when the seats are up but up to 74 cubic feet of storage when the second row seats are folded down so tons of cargo capacity in this car and uh, it has a 22.5 gallon fuel capacity in terms of fuel economy it's 15 uh, in the city and 20 in the highway so good amount you know for an AMG I think that's that's a decent amount of uh, fuel economy if you ask me uh, you know you can't really take away from that Combined, combined fuel economy is about 18 on this car which I think for V8 is uh, spitting out 603 horsepower it's pretty impressive obviously you can have more fuel economy or more savings when you drive in um, <coughs> in comfort mode which means now if you stop at a traffic stop the ISG or the integrated starter generator takes up the I guess the uh, <clears throat> the driving functions from you and uh, shuts off the engine and is also responsible for starting the engine as well so that's something else you need to note with the ISG which is the uh, 48 volt mild hybrid system in this car as you can see the weather decided to just go south I mean it's raining and it's it's foggy but it's a fun car I mean uh, I am not disappointed at all in this car it, it 
that's what I would recommend in these uh, situations. I'm, I've actually changed the drive mode to the Sport Plus mode. Um, and uh, the tires are the all season, rather these are sport tires, Michelin Pilot 4S tires. These are the high performance uh, sporty tires on this car. Excellent for these uh, twisted roads and for this GLE 63S. You can actually get all season tires if you prefer, but I think if you want to have some car, some fun with your car, I think um, in the summer you want to have the summer tires, all performance. Overall, it's a great drive. Um, I think we've covered all the basics. The comfort is, is unlike any other comfort. I was sitting on the passenger side. It's very comfortable seats. Uh, front massage seats as well for the passenger. Poor memory seats, one, two, three. Heated as well as cool seats. Uh, I love these handlebars here. If you go off-roading, you want to hold on to that. Um, part of the seat, which is uh, part of this handlebar, which is excellent. Overall, it's a great car. I don't know how this fly sneaked in here, but uh, we need to kick it out. Can't even open the window. is just perfect. There's no ticking away from this car. But I think for this drive I'm gonna set it to the slippery mode which now handles very beautifully. I think for rainy rainy places when it's snowing I think you want to get either all season tires or just snow tires. Uh, the the all performance summer tires are good for for the summer and the fall right that's that's pretty much it um, there hasn't been any understeer in this car it's just I mean no turbo lag no delay nothing I mean it just if, if you just put the power on it you can just floor it and it's just gonna handle it well You can just do things like that without really taking away from the from the fun of driving. And just like that, the weather looks to have cleared up, which is pretty funny of Colorado. 